Alicia Clark, you uh, are being bumped by <laughs> the legend. Coach, coach is like, you need to get some shots up. Like you yes. Thank you, guys. I'm interrupting the dance. You got to open up the opportunity for <laughs> Becky Hammond to hop in here. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for taking time uh, during training camp and, and being here with us back-to-back -back champions. Your record in the postseason, your first two years, 16-3. and three. When you took this job, did you imagine that this is exactly how your coaching career would start? I mean... I had ideas of how I wanted it to be. Um, you know, having watched them play and studied film from uh, before I took the job, you know, I felt like it was a group that I really could um, implement some things that could get us to the next level. And so um, it's really, though, at the end of the day, their buy-in factor, um, their commitment um, to playing the right way and, and you know, commitment to each other, really. But uh, we, we've given them some more space to work with, and I think kind of everybody has flourished um, under having more space. If I may, the thing that makes it special, I know a lot of people may ask you, why this group? Why are they so special? We can see how talented they are on the floor, but we can also see through interviews, through features, how tight you are, to, how tight you are yeah. off the court, especially how they showed up for you yeah, yeah. Um, when you were inducted into the Hall of Fame. Such a storybook season last year. If you can express this group and you saying, I will you know, be in the foxhole with you, how yeah. important that is that that type of establishment, that foundation is built for a championship franchise. Well, I, at the end of the day, I think coaching is really about building relationship, uh, bringing people together and, and getting them to have belief in, A, the direction that we're going and, and what we all want to accomplish and how much we all have in common. Um, but, uh, you know, we've had some hard conversations in there. Um, but I think at the end of the day, we have really quality, high character people that happen to be really great basketball players. And so sometimes it can be as as little as that, you know, because... Um, you know, there's a bunch of teams that have great offenses and have great defenses, and sometimes it comes down to those things that never show up on a stat sheet um, that help you win. And so they're, they're, they're really good at, at doing the small things for each other. You know, Becky, speaking of the stat sheet, we're going to pull up your resume. We have to use font three. It's on here. Font three. <laughs> there's not enough space, but at the very bottom, uh, first woman to head coach an NBA team in an NBA game. And I remember when you were with the Spurs, I feel like that was a decade ago that we were like, <laughs> okay, Becky Hammond's going to make history at some point. Mm. That journey of you remaining uh, on the bench for that period of time as you waited for the right opportunity. Take me through that time period for you in, in waiting for the perfect opportunity to become a head coach. Um, and so far as the NBA game, I mean, I, the only opportunity was there was because Pop got his butt kicked out. So <laughs> he we just saw looked, that too. I think he was, I was the first person he saw. He said, you got him. OK, uh, that just I mean, um, but no, I mean, I, I felt like, you know, I've been in in the Spurs system for eight years. Um, obviously, the first opportunity that he really gave me to be a head coach was that summer league team, um, which, you know, I had some pretty good players, Kyle Anderson, um, Jonathan Simmons, who was in the league for a while. And I don't know, it was just kind of like a, a big moment. Um, and, and the guys felt it and really dug in and played hard and competed hard for me. And, uh, you know, insofar as taking this job, I just felt like I was ready to, I wanted to implement some of my own things. Um, you know, I just needed to change the scenery. It was, it was nothing here nor there. She's one of the greatest superstars I've ever been around. Um, her, the way she carries herself, the way she cares for her teammates. Um, I think when it's all said and done, she will be the goat of goats. Um, you know, she has still more winning to do. We have more winning to do. Um, but she's really like, to me, she's just scratching the surface, which is scary <laughs> for other people because, um, you know, her game just still has room for growth, and she's so dumb. I think she's the best player on the planet. Um, you know, others have others' opinion, but you know I'm rolling with Asia. I have just a couple more questions. I'm sorry. I want to squeeze this one in as well because Candace Parker deciding to retire mm -hmm. as well. Just your thoughts on just, you know, I don't want to say losing someone of her caliber um, from the program. No, we but lost from the her. Game, we, we were from like, the oh, game. you know, shoot, it, shoot us in the heart. She was such a... Uh, a special piece to us and obviously special to the game uh, but also like happy for her yeah. you know it, it's a different chapter um, you know she she went silent on me there for a little bit and remember it was like you know hit her I'm like I'm not gonna hit her anymore like she's processing a lot 
And I say, you know, when she's ready to pick up the phone, she'll pick up the phone and call me. <laughs> um, but we got a lot of love and respect for CP. And, um, you know, when she went down last year, we were 19 and 2. Yes. We were 19 and 2. And I don't know. I mean, she hit this point where it was just, it was a wrap. I mean, she was almost a triple double every night, you know, 12, 8, and 8 or, or whatnot. Um, and so. You know, when it comes down to it, I know she wanted to be playing at the end, but like getting home court advantage for us, having that record and putting us out to that kind of lead where people were chasing us all year really is a huge uh, difference maker, especially when you look at our home loss records versus New York, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> they kicked our butts every time we go to, to, to Barclays. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, she's a big tribute to that. All right. My last question I just wanted to ask coming into training camp, obviously back to back champs, but you have to reset, understand yeah. you want to three peat. So what are some of the things that you think are most vital, the priority for you guys in order to make sure that's the storytelling name? Uh, just get back to establishing good habits. Um, understanding that we can't be content. Um, you know, I know the skill and the effort and everything that's going to be there. Another stalker. I don't know who this is because I saw the silver.